Hi again everybody, a little bit more on my uh, resin bases, I haven't done any for a while but I've um, needed some more for some stuff I've got coming up and I'm just playing, testing some ideas as to how I'm going to do it. Um, I just, last time I did them all I wrapped them in um, some sheeting and all that sort of stuff and it was quite a lot of hard work but since then Green Stuff World have, uh, have come out with their containment bases so I thought I'd uh, grab onto these and give them a bit of a go and uh, what I'm going to be using is their UV resin. Now, when I bought the bases and some other stuff, they were nice to nice enough to send me one of their new um, uh, coloured re UV resins. So this is actually the lime green, which is going to work really great with the uh, with the green base I want to work on today. So UV resin, give it a go. The good stuff about the UV resin is that you can just activate it straight away with their uh, UV torch, so which works really really well. So a shout out for Green Stuff World. I find their prices really good. Um, and their products are getting better and better and I'm, uh, I'm using their stuff more and more too so we'll, uh, we'll uh, come up to, with that. Um, so the, the, the moulds are just basically you fit the base in and then pour the resin around. I'm assuming this is my first go at it so we'll see how we go. Um, so I've had a different go at doing a base rather than the standard um, bases with the cork on the top I've sort of been using in the past. Um, I've just grabbed some magnet magnetic sheeting from the local um, stationery shop and I've cut that to size so you can see I've just cut it around the base there and then on the top there I just put in a bit of uh, fill so some skulls and some terrain feature and all that sort of stuff there's even a little rat in there uh, and then what I'm going to do is just top up that with a little bit of UV resin and the idea is that hopefully it'll be a bit of a, um, a thinner base than the big thick ones I've been using to date so we'll see how we go Anyway, putting it in fits in quite nicely. Doesn't matter if the size isn't quite right because the uh, the mold's going to give us the correct size for it, which is pretty cool. So just grabbing the UV resin, make sure it gives it a good shake. I'm pretty sure is it open? It isn't. Make sure we open it up. Um, now you'll notice probably here I've got a daylight lamp just here, but <laughs> I discovered a long time ago it isn't a good idea to actually have that uh, up and running when you're using UV resin because it, uh, being a daylight lamp it activates the resin as you're trying to pour it so it uh, definitely wasn't a good choice. Yeah, we're just gonna cut that out. Oops. Oh nice bright green that's looking very interesting. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm hoping it's not going to be too thick, like too solid, but we'll see how we go. But um, hang on, let's see if I can, nah, it's a bit hard without a light in there. Um, I'm not going to add any more light to it, but we'll see it as, we, as it pours. Uh, so, what we're going to do, I'm just going to give it a nice generous pouring. Oh, it looks pretty cool. I'm just hoping it's not going to be thick and then I'm still going to be able to see all my... Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Oh, it's a great colour. Love it. Nice bright green. Saves having to mix those inks in and um, muck around with all the... So, topping it all up. Don't mind if the skulls and that stick up a little bit. Gives it a little bit of um, bit of texture to it, all, I suppose. Okay, so we've got that in there. So I'm just gonna tap it a bit, get rid of some of those air bubbles if I can. There's not much in the way of air bubbles. There's one there. Just grab the tip of the knife and burst the air bubble, get rid of it. Is there any more? I think that's pretty well lit by the look of it. That looks pretty good. Oh, there's another air bubble there. Keep tapping. Pretty good. That's looking good. Definitely love that colour map. Another big air bubble there. Give it a second for those air bubbles to come up. Actually, went a little bit higher, I reckon. It's just not quite as high as I would like. So, there we go. Just top it up a bit. Tap again, make sure we've got no air bubbles in there. Now, my only concern, and we'll see how it goes, 
is that because my base didn't go right to the edges there may have been some resin seep underneath now because it's UV activated the resin underneath is not going to see any UV straight away so when I try and pull it out of the base I may actually still have some wet resin um, so that's like I said we'll see how that goes just trying to get rid of some of these air bubbles don't really want to do any cutting so I'm just trying to let it all sit yeah it's gone around that edge a little bit when I was trying to get rid of the air bubbles get rid of it. there's another air bubble popped up give it time for those air bubbles to come up Normally with your normal UV you've got like 8 hours for them to pop up and you can sort of keep an eye on them but seeing, uh, the normal resin rather but seeing, yeah, pop, oh, I won't pop, there we go, pop it There we are, I think we've got all the air bubbles by the look of it and there Okay, this is only a trial base, so I'm not too worried. You always have to have, have your dry run to make sure you're getting it right. Oops, another air bubble's popped up. That's giving me more concern that some seeped in underneath, I think, so but we'll soon find out. Scrape around the edges, get rid of the bit that's gone up the side again. Save me cutting it off for later. Now oh, I've got another air bubble. Okay. Pop. Wait, nope. Determine to stay. Now the UV resin's great for active uh, the UV light's great for activating this, but just to make sure I've got a few air bubbles come up there. What's going on? Um but I after I've activated and it's gone hard, I I still sit it in the sun for a good quarter of an hour, half an hour, just to make sure we got the full activation of the whole resin, so um, these bubbles are annoying you know what, just a couple there, I'm not too worried about them I'll right, we'll grab the UV light, it um, comes on and we just, oh they've got a nice big air bubble right in the centre come up as I did that so let's get rid of that real quick okay hit it again there's a couple of, there's a couple of air bubbles there more than what I usually like but that's okay and we just give it a good hit with this for a little while yeah too many air bubbles there for my liking to be honest but that's okay I probably just should have given it a bit more of a shake I was in a bit of a rush to get the video put together and show you what it looked like so it's okay water naturally has air bubbles through it anyway so it's not too bad particularly in this sort of base but then again yet yeah, take your time drop those air bubbles out like I said my concern is going to be having a bit of liquid underneath it but there's not too much I can do about that all that means is um, if that's really going to be a problem I'll have to just go back to the proper bases that have a nice tight fit against the edges I just thought I'd give this a try and see how it goes so that should be activating quite well looks like it is still a little bit soft Yeah, it's still very soft. Alright, it's definitely gone. It's got like a surface on it, which is pretty good. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, a little bit soft underneath, hasn't gone all the way through. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the video for a sec. I'm actually going to go and sit it in some hard sun, make sure it gets a nice, good, solid. Uh, 10 or 15 in the hard sun to make sure because it's quite given it quite a thick pour in there so uh, I've started the activation I'll just give it some sun and then we'll uh, we'll come back and show you what the base looks like
Okay, so had a little bit of time in the sun, so she's nice and hard. Let's do the unveiling and see whether uh, how she comes out when we just put. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, just pops right out. Look at that. There is some liquid down the bottom. I thought there might be, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it out. I'm just going to pop it out upside down on the paper here. I see we're going to have a bit of run. There is. As you can see, like I said, I thought there might be a bit underneath, but if we just hit that with some sun, that will just pop out again. I'm just going to UV it. So what, yeah, so what you can see is, because I didn't let it get to the edges there, it hasn't quite worked properly. Hang on, I'm just going to harden this up a little bit. But that's uh, not a problem with the mould or, um, or the resin. That's just what I've used as a base. So... My experiment probably wasn't perfect, so I'd probably go back to the proper bases so that they've got a nice snug fit against the edges and you don't get that leak underneath. So it was only a trial one, yeah, she's still a bit wet around the edges there. So the idea was right, I just didn't have the base perfectly Done, but that was all right. The idea in there it was you've got to experiment with these ideas. I said that will activate that and it'll pop it all out and clean out quite easily. I'm pretty sure I'll set that in the sun to make sure it's nice and hard before I clean it all out. But that was uh, the green's definitely nice. I like the green UV resin, it's quite nice. So I think I've got all of that again. Recommendation is just supposed to wear gloves. I've been lazy today and haven't actually grabbed the gloves. It's a little bit wet, but yeah, you get the idea. Quite nice. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll use a proper base and come back and try again, and um, and give you guys a bit of a sticky as to how it sort of looks. So, but that's the uh, the green UV resin and the new silicon molds from Green Stuff World. So, pretty cool. Hello, so just looking at these uh, Green Stuff World silicon bases mold again for the uh, silicon for the resin pores. Um, so just further to what one I've already done, I've grabbed a proper base size. So that's our 40 mil base on one of the endless spells. So it fits in. It's not a quite a tight fit as I thought it might be, but it's definitely right to the edges there. So. Um, so I'm just going to give that a pour and see how that comes out as well and just show you. So we're going to put it in. So the green stuff is the UV resin again from Green Stuff World. They're green. So give it a good shake. So I'm just going to have a very thin layer on this one here. So we'll just see how we go. Take my time. Yeah, I think with the green, with the coloured resin, I think the, um, the thinner layer is definitely the way to go. Always felt that base was a little bit boring, so add a bit of technique to it. Yeah. Take my time and make sure I get the air bubbles out of this one. I'm going to be careful not to jump it around though so much this time and see if that makes a difference in terms of um, of getting the not getting any underneath. So I'm just going to use a toothpick and break all these air bubbles coming to the surface. Destroy that one. Oh, that's good. Not too many air bubbles. Took my time this time. Slow pour. There we go, I'm quite happy with that, how it looks. So, let's hit it with some UV light. Oh, a couple of air bubbles still there I missed, but that's okay. Just two or three, that's going to be alright. 
I'm just going to smack it with some UV just to harden it up and then I'm going to put it in the sunlight again just to make sure it's got a proper harden. If we played a uh, Warhammer under fluoro, it'd be uh, quite some interesting effects, but we'll just, uh, we'll just go with what we see. Alright, so that's activated it. So just to make sure it's got a full activation, I'm just going to go and sit it in the sun for five minutes. It should give us a proper... So it's definitely got it started anyway. All right, we'll be back in a couple of minutes and see how it looks. Okay, back in from the sun. As you can see, the first mould, which I just put out to dry, and the excess comes out quite easy. So, no problem cleaning at all, being UV resin. Nice and easy, good stuff. Um, so I've got the one with the proper base in it, so we're just going to see how this pulls out. So just popping the edges. Looking good so far. Oh, looks a little bit... Yeah, we'll see how we go. So pull it out. Very little inside, so there's a little bit there. But, uh, I'll just sit that in the sun again and make sure it dries properly. And then just clean it out. So that's fine. Yeah, interesting that it didn't, obviously there's a trick to pouring the, uh, around the edge there. So, as I say, practice makes perfect. So, that's alright. I'm going to trim up those edges there later on. I'm just going to go and see that in the sun to make sure around the edges is dried properly as well. Other than that, that's their new green... UV resin, which is pretty cool.